as she is storing more fat, her fat cell number starts to go down. But again, that's not a great thing because that does mean in the absence of any other changes, and Stephanie, you mentioned it very, very well. To me, there's an opportunity there for lifestyle change. But as she starts to lose her fat cell number, if she continues to eat the same way and live the same life, then her body still wants to store that fat. It just has to store the fat now in fewer fat cells, inducing a greater and greater hypertrophy and perhaps storing the fat in tissues not designed for long-term fat storage like the liver and the muscle, etc. So she loses multiple protective benefits. Again, that all plays into why I say estrogen allows the woman to be a metabolic superhero. And with the loss of that estrogen, she just becomes a mere mortal. When that when the fat cell gets too big, we almost have to feel bad for it because it, it starts to try to survive. But the two ways that I'll mention in a moment in which th that it leverages in order to survive end up unfortunately creating metabolic havoc for the rest of the body. When the fat cells are hypertrophying too much, they begin to actually push each other further and further away from capillaries blood vessels. And the capillary is the site of exchange for a cell. It's where it gets new oxygen. It's where it dumps off its CO2 from its metabolism. It's where it receives new nutrients or gives out its nutrients. And so suffice it to say, a cell has to be very, very close to a capillary in order for that to work. But as the cells are hypertrophying so much, now it used to have maybe a micron or two away from a capillary. Now it's getting several. It's, it's increasing multiples in distance. That is catastrophic. It will literally die. It will suffocate. And it will undergo a process called necrosis. It will rot and die. And we don't want that. So the hypertrophic fat cell who senses that it's becoming increasingly hypoxic or reduced in oxygen access, it will start to secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines because some of those cytokines will induce the production of new blood vessels. So this is the big fat cells way of saying, hey, capillary, you're too far now. I'm sending you this message. Bud off. Branch off a little capillary to come out this way so that I can start to get some blood so that I don't die. Now, that helps the hypertrophic fat cells survive. But at the same time, it's secreted a whole panel of pro-inflammatory proteins, only some of which largely one, is actually helping with the improved blood flow, but it, it just sort of belches them all out. And then it's all the rest of these pro-inflammatory cytokines that begin to promote a subtle but relevant inflammation throughout the entire body. Like the body is fighting a mild infection in the absence of any actual infectious agent. It's just this fat cell doesn't know what else to do. At the same time, the fat cell is reaching a point of maximum dimension. And it, it I know of no um, comparable effect where you can take a normal sized fat cell and in, in the presence of insulin to promote its growth, it can grow to 10 times that its volume. I, I mean, uh, and unlike any other phenomenon in the body where it will grow 10 times. And at, at, at that point, it begins to reach a point of maximum dimension where it simply starts to tell itself I can't grow anymore or I will overwhelm the ability of the cell membrane to hold us all together and we will literally burst apart. And so the hypertrophic fat cell starts to tell insulin, insulin, you want me to keep growing. And so while I can't stop you from shoving the nutrients in because it can't really, I can stop you from preventing me from breaking down my fat and leaking out my fatty acids. So that's what happens. I know I got that a little complicated with a bunch of double negatives, but basically insulin would tell the fat cell, don't break down any fat. In other words, inhibit lipolysis. Lipolysis is the technical term for breaking down stored fat. But the hypertrophic fat cell says to insulin, I can't stay this big. I can't continue to grow like you want me to. So fat keeps coming in, but now the hypertrophic fat cell starts letting fat out.